Okay everybody, welcome to another Rusty Mats video and welcome to my year 9 series on number. This is a brand new series, only just started, so we've only got just a few videos in this series. If you want to catch up on what we've done so far, then click on the pop-out banner up there. There you can see my playlist of everything we've done so far. It's not a lot though, so you're still pretty early. Troll the Rusty Mats channel to see what else we've got online there. We've got loads of other stuff in different playlists, so make sure you go and have a look at those. Today, however, we are going to take numbers written in standard form and we're going to put them back to normal numbers. Now, if you're not sure what all that is, click on the pop up banner up there to go and watch my most recent video on writing numbers in standard form. Really eye big eye opener that one is. Did you know that the Rusty Mats channel has got socials? Check the links down there. Nice way to go and interact with other things we got going on. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell so you do not miss another upload. Anyway, without further ado, we got to go change some numbers in standard form into normal numbers. I'll see you over there in the lesson. Let's say we have all numbers in standard form and we need to change them back to an ordinary number. What do we do? So here's my first example on there. Now, the idea behind this, let's do the proper maths first, and then we deal with the maths tricks after. So the idea behind this is understanding that 10 to the power 3 actually means, let's do the 10 to the power 3, that actually means 10 times 10 times 10, which is a thousand. So really what we're actually doing is multiplying 2.91 by 1000. Now this number is written in standard form, which shows that this is between one and 10. And then we got times 10 to some power. It is always a 10. All right, anyway, coming back to the proper maths now. So what I'm actually doing is multiplying that by a thousand and going back to primary school, we know if we multiply a number by a thousand, that number will move along the decimal chart three places, therefore giving me 2,910. And that would have been us done. But when you're sitting in an exam and you want to get this done real quick, then this is what we're actually doing. So what we're going to do here now is we'll go back to what we had at the top here. So we've got 2.91 times 10 to the power 3. So basically, again, just move your number three places along the place value chart. Fill that space with a zero and we will get the same answer as 2,910. All right. And that's how you change a, um, a, a number in standard form to an ordinary number. What about if that number has a negative power? So let's go for the same 2.91 and we're timesing this by negative 3 instead. Then what does this mean? Let's do the proper maths first and then we will get on to um, doing the trick after. So again, this is still actually 10 times 10 times 10. But because it's negative, we're going to see that in another topic I have coming up called indices. 10 to the power minus 3 actually means 1 over a 1,000. Okay, that's what that actually means. So what you're actually doing is dividing 2.91 by a 1,000. Don't forget this is the proper maths. So if I do my 2.91 divided by a 1,000 like that, we know that from our place value chart, the number will move three places that way, giving you one, two, three. My decimal point is now here. I fill up the spaces with zeros. And so the answer to that is going to actually be 0 0.00291. And that will be done. Here is the maths trick now, though. If I have, let's change color again. If I have 2.91 times 10 to the power negative 3, again, because the power is negative 3, this time I will move the number this way three times. So let's do that jump again. So 1, 2, 3. 
fill up the spaces with zeros and just like that we will still get the same answer of 0 0.00 two nine one and this is finished that's literally how quick it is to change a number from standard form to an ordinary number that's i want to say a massive thank you for sticking with me to the end of the video it was a short one i hope you learned something new if you did please give this video a like don't forget to subscribe below and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you do not miss another upload but until i see you on the next one Peace.